Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing a review first impressions of this new-ish bourgeois liner and what makes this one a little bit different from other liners that I've had to try seen is that this one is supposedly erasable. Do I believe this? We'll find out whether it's true though. So it says that this should last for 16 hours. I'm afraid I'm not going to be able to test that because I'm just not staying up for that long or having makeup on for that long during the day. It's nearly 11 as it is. That would involve me staying up till 3 in the morning and that's not happening. Alternatively I would have to be up with makeup on at 6 in the morning and that's really not happening either. So I just don't keep makeup on for a full 16 hours a day. I don't know about you guys. Um, but you should still get a decent enough idea of the lasting power of this anyway. So as you can see it's just got this cover bit at the top which is the eraser and the instructions say that you have to wait for the liner to dry before erasing. So I am going to get this applied and I'm just going to do a wee first impression bit. My first impression is that I can't actually open it which is, there we go. Okay, so 2.5 mils in this. It is a brush liner. It looks a little bit thick and gloopy, to be honest with you. But we'll see how it goes with actual application. Um, so this is 7.99. So, like everything in the drugstore, it seems to be getting a bit more expensive. So I said it was thick and gloopy, but it actually seems to be applying okay. Uh, I prefer the felt tip liners or gel ones where you can choose your own brush. I find the ones that comes with the, that come with liquid liners are generally a little bit on the flimsy side, and I think especially with the thickness of the formula on this one, the brush isn't quite cutting it. Yep, so I'm finding it not the easiest to get um, a really smooth line there. But it is very pigmented and very black and possibly if you're more used to these brushes, um, although this is a bit longer than I usually see, um, you will possibly get on okay. So I'm going to stop the camera while I line my other eye and that will give us an opportunity to dry it and then we can test the erasability. Okay, so that's me finished lining my other eye. Um, I think I know which side I'll be erasing and it's the one that I've done on camera because it does not look quite as good. In fact, it looks a bit crummy. Um, I was still getting used to the brush saying that. It took me quite a while to do the eye off camera. I just don't get on well with this brush. I think if you're going to have this thick of a formula, you definitely want a little bit more stiffness to your brush. And just to try and kind of give you an idea of how thick that formula is. I don't know if this is going to focus. Hopefully, no. Nah. But um, it's, it's just very thicky and thick and I think that requires a bit more stiffness in the brush to kind of work that stickiness down. Excuse my messy desk in the background. Right, okay, well let's give this a shot. We have our eraser. The eyeliner is dry. So, um, I decided I was definitely testing this in my face rather than the back of my hand just to see what sort of effect it would have on your other makeup. Now, from the colour of that, 
and she's not taking anything off other than my foundation. Um, this is quite hard and I will say that this is kind of sore. <laughs> Okay, so part of that there did just flake off. Um, and that's another chunk just flaked off. I feel that you could possibly pick this off with your fingers then. A bit like those um, press on eyeliner things. Yeah, it is just a peel off eyeliner. So, it's not erasable. It's just because of that thick, gooey texture, it's rubbery and you can peel it off. So, I am going to, well, reapply what I've just destroyed um, so that I can finish testing the wear factor on this. Although, I do feel it's one where if you touch your eye, you're possibly going to start it peeling and peeling eyeliner is going to be not not good. Um, so like I said I'm going to reapply this to the bit I've just removed and I will come back later and we will see what the wear has been like on this peel off eyeliner. Hi guys so it's now 20 well just after 25 past 12. Um, so in terms of the lasting power of this eyeliner, I have no issues at all. I've not had any transfer under my eyes or up onto my brow bone and it's still jet black. So wear time pigmentation, it it does get full marks. Okay? I do not like the formula. Um, as I said earlier, it is really, really gloopy and that for me made it really hard to apply. Um, the erasable thing, as I said earlier, that's a gimmick. This thing at the end is absolutely solid. There's no give in it. All you're going to do is end up tugging and hurting the skin around your eye, which is some of the most delicate skin in your body, and you're just going to end up with wrinkles and stuff. So, yeah, I just think it's a gimmick product. The gimmick does not work. There's other eyeliners in the market that last just as well or are just as black and as pigmented. I like the Collection 2000 ones. They have a felt tip nib, which is again something I prefer. So, all in all, I would sadly not recommend this product. Just simply because I think there are better ones out there with a similar or better price point that don't have any stupid gimmicks going on and don't have that annoying texture um, with the really thick, slightly rubbery formula. And as I said when I was showing the um, erasable bit earlier, it is like having a rubber eyeliner. I'm just going to show you how that lifted there. See? That's uh, stuck a bit to my eyelashes, I'm going to take that off proper eye makeup remover. Um, I'm not sure how that would work with false eyelashes if you're somebody that wears those as well. Um, if potentially during the day the weight of those on that eyeliner it wouldn't grip very well and you could just end up with no eyeliner and no lashes. So yeah, not my favourite product and yeah, so as you see it's not erased, it just peels off. So. Yeah, if you've got a tiny mistake, it's not going to help you. Anyway, that's everything. If you have any questions that I've not covered in this video, leave a comment. And um, if you get any ideas on videos that you would like to see me doing, whether it's reviewing products or looks, or if you want to see outfits of the day, just anything like that, um, leave me a comment as well. Bye, guys.